and show my face and show that I'm happy <laughs> and I'm smiling. Even though a lot of things have been, you know, things that have been making me not smile, but I'm back. So I see a lot of people painting fake ass <laughs> narratives and making up stories and all this other whack ass shit. But I also see a lot of people that have been like being very supportive and sending prayers and I just really appreciate that. I saw the hotties doing a lot of things like writing letters on the on Tumblr and DMing me all the time. And I just want to say thank y'all so much because y'all really been the ones that have been helping me get through this. Uh, I was shot in both of my feet. I was, I was shot in both of my feet and I had to get surgery to get the shit taken out, get the bullets taken out. Um, and it was super scary. Oh lord, I didn't think I was going to cry <laughs> But yeah I had to get surgery, it was super scary It was like just the worst experience of my life <laughs> And it's not funny There's nothing to joke about It was nothing for y'all To start going and making up Fake stories about <laughs> I didn't put my hands on nobody I didn't deserve to get shot and do shit. Like, and thank God that the bullets didn't touch bones. They didn't break tendons. Like I know, I know my mama, my daddy, my granny had to be looking out for me with that one, cause where the bullets hit at, it just it missed everything. But they, the motherfuckers, was in there. And it's not that I'm, I was protecting anybody. I just wasn't ready to speak. That's not no shit you just immediately get on the internet and start talking about. And that's a lot of y'all motherfucking problem. <laughs> y'all take y'all whole life to Instagram and Twitter and make it a fucking diary. And that's not, that's not me. Uh, so... <laughs> Fuck y'all and them fake ass blogs and y'all fake ass sources and my fake ass friends. <laughs> but on a positive note, just taking some time to myself have definitely, it has definitely made me realize how to move forward. And... You know, how to protect my energy. I'm so nice. Imagine, imagine being... Imagine being 25 and you don't, you don't have both of your parents. My mama was my best friend. She, you know, I'm still really not over that. So you like, you kind of try to fill like your space with a bunch of people that you think is making you happy. Like it's a lot. Jesus. 
this. Hold on. Oh. I just feel like I was trying to, I was moving really fast. I was moving too fast. I wasn't taking a, enough time for myself. I thought I was ready to be around a bunch of motherfuckers. I thought I was ready to be, you know, I thought I was ready to give good energy to other people and other people wasn't ready to give good energy to me. <laughs> But I definitely had to sit my ass down and pray on it. And I do feel a lot better. And thank God for the the people I have around me that are actually here for me and are actually my friends. Don't want shit from me. Would never turn on me for no amount of money, no amount of clout. That wouldn't make up stories about me to save face. That wouldn't that wouldn't go against the grain. Just thank God for them. And thank God for all the hotties and the supporters that I see have had my back through these times. And um, I ain't never seen so many grown ass motherfucking men chime in on some shit that wasn't their motherfucking business in the first motherfucking place. Like, do y'all niggas just wake up, get on the internet, and be like, "Oh, I'm gonna say this today because this is gonna give me some like, this is gonna be funny." Like, what if your motherfucking sister got shot? Or what if your motherfucking girlfriend got shot? Or what if your motherfucking best friend got shot? Would you be cracking jokes then? Then you want the whole world to stop and feel sorry for you? I don't expect none of you motherfuckers to feel sorry for me, but it's just a respect thing. Like, shut the fuck up when shit don't have nothing to do with you. Stop fucking talking <laughs> when don't shit, some shit don't need to be talked about. And you out of your mind ass bitches. Are y'all? Ugh. It's not even are y'all fucking dumb. It's yes, we know you're fucking dumb. It's just how many times are you going to show me you fucking dumb? A lot of y'all silly motherfuckers just don't be having no morals or don't be having no code to stand on. But, you know, that's on y'all. And somebody gonna take care of your ass. Karma gonna take care of your ass. I ain't gotta do it. But anyway, I just want y'all to know a bitch is alive and well and strong as fuck. And, you know, I'm ready to get back to regular programming with my own hot girl shit. But I've definitely (laughs) learned that I, I don't have to be so nice to every motherfucking body. This ain't gonna stop me from being nice and this gonna, ain't gonna stop me from being making a motherfucking stay, driving the boat, doing what the fuck I wanna do, having this good ass energy. Ain't nobody gonna stop my energy from being good. But what I can't do is keep putting my energy in you, a bunch of you motherfuckers. <laughs> so I love you hotties and I love you to everybody who has been sending me messages and sending me flowers. And gifts and all kind of shit and just the texts in the morning, at night, throughout the day, checking on me. Just thank y'all because I see all that shit. Like, just thank y'all.